so let's get straight into this cut What's up all you amazing people welcome once again to this channel smart kicks and this channel is all about shoes today's video is a bit important one for the upcoming season for all the runners and athletes and that's why i'm taking up this crucial topic that's around five important factors that you should check before choosing a training or a running shoes i'm sure you guys must be looking forward to this topic so let's get straight into this <laughs> Now before I share those five important factors I want to tell you that on each of the factors there is a detailed video available on this channel so if in case you have any confusion related to a specific topic or a factor you can head to the channel and watch the detailed video that I have made in the past now the first and the most important factor before choosing a training or a running shoe for yourself is to figure out what's your aim out of your training so if in case you are training for faster runs if you are training for speed runs your shoe should be lightweight shoe and should offer you enough bounce back effect but if in case you're looking for a shoe that can support you during your cross training activities or high intensity interval trainings where lateral movements are also very important you should look out for a shoe that has good stability so your training goal is going to be decisive when you're choosing a good pair of trainers or a running shoe for yourself the second most important factor is to understand your feet structure you must be aware if your feet has an higher arch a normal arch or is a flat foot do you over pronate under pronate or have a neutral landing while moving on your feet because based on this important observation you would be able to search for a shoe that can offer you high level of cushioning or high level of stability in this regards there is one brand that i'm totally impressed with and that's asics because most of the asics store in india offer you a free 3d mapping of your feet structure and that helps you choose the perfect pair for yourself in addition to this i've also made a detailed video around the topic of under pronation over pronation and neutral feet structure and what kind of shoes would go best for such feet structure so if in case you want to watch that video in detail you can head to the link mentioned here moving on to the third factor is the surface where you're going to train or run this is the factor that is majorly ignored in india because if in case you're into trail running you need a shoe that has a good grip on the surface and also a decent stability along with a cover for the upper mesh on the other hand if you're running for speed on the synthetic running tracks you need spikes on the front portion of the shoe so that it can offer you a good take off and minimum heel to toe drop so that it helps you generate speed however in most of the cases as i do understand in india when we are not training professionally we are generally running on streets or on roads or otherwise on jogging tracks and that's where we need shoes with good cushioning and a good outsole durability now the fourth most important factor while you're choosing a training or a running shoe for yourself is the budgeting part now it can be tricky sometimes because a lot of people believe that the more expensive the shoe is the better the quality would be in most of the scenarios it is true but trust me my favorite shoe which i bought from kalenji uh, from decathlon is still my uh, cheapest running shoe when it comes to premium running shoe category and has still delivered me the best performance till now so don't get into the trap of being brand conscious or just spending money without doing any research a bit of research will really help a long way in case you guys are looking forward to check some reviews before you go on to buying a new pair of shoes for yourself i made a few review videos on this channel also i always prefer runrepeat.com because on that most of the running shoes and training shoes are displayed in a clear detailed manner so that you can clear out your doubts and any confusion and then plan to buy that shoe now fifth and the final factor that is very important while choosing a training or a running shoe for yourself is the breathability factor according to me this is actually the most important one because this is also linked to your hygiene and well being of your feet do not pick a shoe if the upper mesh isn't breathable to be honest a lot of people do this mistake just because they love the leather finish on the upper and then there is no passage for air to pass while you're working out so if you end up training in such shoes there are chances that you might develop excessive sweaty feeling within that can lead to fungal infection too a decent breathable mesh on the upper of your running or training shoes will keep your feet dry within while you train for longer workouts to be honest this topic is so huge that it's very difficult to cover in one topic so i'll be coming up with more videos around training and running shoes and you can keep watching other videos on the channel to get more clarification on this topic if in case you feel that i've missed out on some important topic related to running or training shoes or if you want a better clarification you can drop your thoughts in the comment section below and also don't forget to share this video with your running or training buddies at the end please subscribe to the channel because that's what keep us going till my next video you guys stay fit and keep watching smart kicks